Today we're going to crack open this $105 mystery box, but first, we got to talk about these Star Wars NFTs. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to start off this Monday by breaking down the brand new Star Wars NFTs that Funko was so kind to reveal to us this past Friday. We have six brand new pops coming to us and unfortunately right off the bat we have a huge red flag because they are all deluxe. Why on earth would Funko decide to go with an all deluxe wave of NFTs is beyond me for any licensing con considering the fact that just about every single collector is running out of space and very fast. So we're going to break down really quick these brand new Star Wars NFTs that I myself was so much looking forward to as I know a lot of other people here in the community were as well. Now a lot of other channels and content creators have taken the time over the weekend to bash these so I will keep my rant to a minimum. I also needed a couple days to get all my thoughts together because I'm actually very upset and I'm borderline <laughs> really hurt by by Funko, but nonetheless, let's talk about these six characters that we are getting, and once again, they are all deluxe size, which is very worrisome, especially with shipping conditions these days. No matter how well you pack an item inside a box, USPS uh, might decide to play soccer with your package. Hopefully none of your NFTs end up becoming a victim of that, but I digress. First up, we have Han Solo partially in carbonite. If you guys remember from a couple years ago, we actually got a common pop of Han Solo fully in carbonite. So I'm not sure why this was decided on. Next up, we have Darth Vader doing a force choke. This is something that we've also seen Funko do, so not really too much creativity there. Emperor Palpatine just gets worse, as I'm pretty sure this is the same exact mold that they did for his common pop a few years ago. You thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. That man is playing Galaga. Next up, we have C-3PO. I don't know who is in charge of making the executive decisions on when a pop is made, because... There are some really good C-3PO pops out there. This is not one of them. And he even he looks bored and is really tired of this NFT wave. And it hasn't even come out yet. Next up, we have Luke Skywalker and hanging upside down. This is the only pop out of the entire wave that actually has a dose of creativity. But if you've been around the Funko collecting game for a while, then you will just realize that this pop is a copycat of something they did a decade ago for 2014 San Diego Comic-Con. We got this very pop of Luke Skywalker hanging upside down in a two pack with the Wampa missing the arm. So for those of you guys out there who are excited about this, it's actually been done before by the very same company. And last, and this could honestly be the worst one of the bunch. We have Princess Leia, not bashing Leia at all. She is a great character, um, played by the phenomenal Carrie Fisher, uh, but this pop does not deserve to have a glow-in-the-dark sticker on the front. The glow, which we already have gotten a leak of, looks horrendous. So, I'm not sure what Funko was thinking. I don't know who works in the Funko Star Wars department, but this was a huge fail, and I think a massive missed opportunity, especially with the current content that we have going on over on Disney+. Plus. Without a doubt, in my opinion, this should have been either a Bad Batch NFT wave or an NFT wave with clones that we've never gotten before in Funko form. Now... If you guys are curious as to why I feel so strongly about this, it has directly, you know, it has to do directly with money. When it comes to a running a business, it's all about making money and making decisions for your company that are going to yield the highest profits. If you look at the era of when the prequel movies were dropped and all these kids that grew up on them who then a couple years later started watching The Clone Wars, starting with The Clone Wars movie and then moving into the series that lasted for seven seasons. Phenomenal animated show. A lot of those kids and teenagers who were watching that at the time are now young adults with disposable income who love those characters just like there are several generations that love the original trilogy. I really expected Funko to go with an original trilogy wave of NFTs to play it safe. However, sometimes when you play it safe, 
you can get burned, and that's what's going to happen with this wave of NFTs. I would have loved to see some clone commanders that we've never gotten in Funko Pop form before, like Clone Commander Wolf, Commander Fox, Commander Gree, Gregor. I mean, there's just so many that they could have done, but heck, if they didn't want to do any named characters, you could have just gave, given us some specialist clones, or going back to my mention of the Bad Batch, there's so many characters that you could have made from that series alone. We are currently in season three, and we just got a bombshell announcement that I haven't been seeing a lot of people talk about. They haven't given a name for it yet, but we are going to be getting, apparently, according to Dave Filoni, another clone-centered animated series once the Bad Batch is done, probably focusing mainly on Gregor, whoever is left from the Bad Batch that's still alive, um, Captain Rex, because we know he's still going to be alive. I hope we get to see the whereabouts of Commander Cody. A Imperial version of Commander Cody would have been a phenomenal NFT pop. And we're also, of course, going to be seeing Wolf in this upcoming series. And it's probably going to be focused on the Clone Rebellion leading into the actual Rebellion, which, of course, leads into the original trilogy. So, I digress. I'm very upset. I'm very hurt that Funko went this route. Ultimately, it's going to save me a lot of money, so that's the one good thing to come of this NFT series. And ultimately, it's going to cause Funko to have to do one of two things moving forward. And I implore all you guys out there who feel just as strongly as I do or are just upset about this NFT wave, vote with your wallet. If you don't want to get any of these pops for your collection, don't bother buying packs. Because when the packs don't sell out and Funko is forced to burn a lot of them, they're going to have to make a decision. Do they not do a Star Wars NFT Series 2 because Series 1 performed so badly and them as a company, they just can't afford to even try to risk doing a Series 2? Or are they going to sit down and actually listen to the community, um, do some research, go on social media, pay attention to our channel and several other channels out there? I think we make it pretty clear on what we want as Funko fans and Star Wars fans and make a really good NFT Star Wars Series 2 with some of the characters that I mentioned or some other characters that have yet to be made in Funko Pop form. There are so many possibilities when it comes to Star Wars. This was a huge fail and... Um, you know, for the few of you guys out there who might be excited about this wave, I don't want to take away your excitement. I don't want to take away anyone's excitement if you are particularly, you know, fond of something that Funko is going to drop. This just isn't for me. I'm going to vote for my vote with my wallet and I'm going to be saving some money when these packs drop. But that's a quick brief overview of my thoughts. Now, let's get into this mystery box. So right here, we have a $105 guaranteed value mystery box from one of our favorite companies, Boom Loot. So hopefully this next part of the video goes a little bit better than the first part. Um, there's three pops inside this box. We actually have a shot at some pretty cool top hits. I'm gonna throw up the glam shot for you guys right now. Top hit looks like Alan and Baby Carlos, but there's also some other really good pops in this run. There's a Freddy Funko as Vision, which I still need to secure for my collection at some point, so if that happens to be in this box, that would be great. If you guys have never ordered from Boom Loop before, they do a great job packing their mystery boxes. And um, there's a couple more NFT pops in this run as well. Looks like we have a couple from the Flash Gordon wave, as well as Fred Flintstone with the, or he's the chef Fred Flintstone right there. That one's pretty cool. There's also a Freddy Funko as Reptar. A couple Conans with Conan's monster, as well as Stormtrooper Conan. There's also the White Walker Conan and Zombie Conan. So looks like somebody must have traded in their entire wave of uh, Conan pops there. There's also the egg from the April Fool's NFT drop. Hopefully the upcoming NFT drop for April Fool's is better than the Star Wars one. But here we go, I got three pops. The highest value pop is typically in the middle sorter, so we will save that one for last. And uh, let's do it. Top box is over $450 worth of PPG value, so I'm excited. Maybe we have a top box on our hands. First pop of the day, we have a Deadpool pop. Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. I got excited for like half a second, but then I saw the box lunch sticker. So I knew right away this wasn't the crazy uh, glitter cheerleader Deadpool pop. I still need that one at some point. That is a big one that I want to grab at some point for my collection. But here is the box lunch exclusive cheerleader Deadpool 
This is so cool. There's just, I know there's a lot of Deadpool pops, but I actually really like this one and I don't think I've ever stumbled across it. So this might be a keeper for my collection. I also recently kept the wizard Deadpool. If there's any Marvel character who could actually pull off being so many different versions and funny variants of himself, it would be Deadpool. And the fact that we're getting the Deadpool and Wolverine movie later this year just makes that pop a little bit more exciting. So I'm definitely on the lookout for some cool Deadpool pops. And I've also noticed there's a lot of people out there who are also searching for Deadpool pops. So if you guys want something, now is the time to get it. We'll definitely have a uh, buy these pops now before they go up in value video soon here on the channel. Next up, this one is... Oh, they like super sealed this one. All right. Let me forgot to slice it here. This pop for pop number two is, oh, Miguel from Coco. Oh my gosh. So we literally just packed up this pop because we just did our mega Disney auction over the weekend. So once again, I want to thank everybody who came over to the stream and hung out with us. We had a great crowd and, um, we actually had a record setting night. We had 41 first time buyers. So shout out to all the new people coming over to our whatnot auctions. We truly appreciate the support, but we actually had this very pop in the show. Absolute gorgeous here. Miguel with his guitar from the Coco line. If we didn't have this one, this would 100% be a keeper. And this one looks to be in immaculate condition so it might be something we use for an upcoming mystery box of our own or maybe we'll just save it for our next big disney auction which crazy enough the next time we do a big disney show it will be in our new house which is absolutely insane last pop right here it's got the boom loot logo this is the big hit so i think right now we're sitting at around i know miguel is around like 40 cheerleader deadpool i think is like 30 35 so we should have like a 30 or 40 dollar pop minimum inside this box but here we go pop number three. Oh, we got one of the conans and this is actually if i had to pull a conan this is definitely the one that i would want to pull 2016 san diego comic-con storm trooper conan now if you guys don't know conan is the um the TV show host. He had his show for a while. Um, it recently just ended. He's really funny. I actually enjoyed catching some of the highlights every now and then. Um, but they actually used his character like Freddie Funko. So what Funko would do for San Diego Comic-Con every year is they would come out with a couple different versions of Conan dressed up as XYZ character. So in this particular wave for San Diego Comic-Con 2016, they had Stormtrooper, him as Superman, then he was a Ghostbuster, and then the Jared Leto Joker, which that year, the Suicide Squad movie came out, the first one that everyone hated. Um, but this is a great pop. This is awesome. It once again looks to be in immaculate condition. I already have this one for my collection, so this is definitely one that maybe we can slide into our upcoming Star Wars show. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I'm actually not sure what this one is going for. I think like $50, $60 at least last time I checked, but I got three pops here. I got to do some digging here to find out the values and I'll be right back. So I got the values for my three pops and we actually did pretty good. So starting off with the box lunch cheerleader Deadpool, he's actually coming in at $25, which is a little bit less than I expected, but doesn't matter. I'm keeping that for the collection. Up next, we have the beautiful Miguel from Coco, very underrated, or maybe not. So, it's not underrated, but very good Disney movie. I feel like some of the pops, though, are a little undervalued than where they should be. But nonetheless, Miguel here is coming in at $40, and he was a 2020 WonderCon, so the condition on this one for being four years old is just incredible. Then next up, this was our highest valued pop of the box, Stormtrooper Conan, coming in at $75 giving us a grand total today on our $105 box of $140. So essentially, 
It's like I got this cheerleader Deadpool for free for the collection, so I will gladly take that. Shout out to Boom Loot for another amazing mystery box. We love grabbing mystery boxes from them when they're affordable. Sometimes they put up some mega grail boxes that are just a little bit out of our budget, but these, uh, anywhere from like their $60 boxes to like $150, $160 boxes are perfect ones that we always love to grab. They typically do guaranteed value, which is also great, so... You get a lot of good stuff from Boomloo, and that's why we're a huge proponent of their company. But guys, since today is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday motivation segment. Every single week here on the channel, we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week, which typically for a lot of people is Monday. Everybody's back to work, back to school, back to doing some of the things in life that can get a little monotonous. But for today's Monday motivation, this one might be a little deep for some people, but this is something that has affected me a lot in my life. Um, I know it's affected Joanna, and I think it could be just because of our overall temperament as human beings. We're very giving people, we're very nice people, and unfortunately, with that, sometimes people like to take advantage. And for today's Monday Motivation, I want you guys to realize that if you are also somebody who is very giving, somebody who is very nice, who is always looking out for other people, sometimes people may not have your best interest and they might look to take advantage of your kindness. And sometimes they may even betray you, which is definitely a bummer. But even though we can't predict which people in our life are going to do that to us, I would not recommend changing who you are, even though I've adjusted a little bit my um, willingness to trust people right away. I've definitely been a little bit, little bit more cautious when I you know, go out of my way to do something for someone. I'm still the same person. Joanna is still her same giving, loving self and everything. I don't think people should change who they are. We just have to be a little bit more cautious about other people and their intentions but also with these people in life that sometimes go out and hurt us, it makes you realize how good the other people in our lives can be. And when you do find somebody who is maybe like you, somebody who is giving, somebody who is looking out for other people, somebody who truly has the best interests of others at the forefront, you just really appreciate those people so much. And that's what I've come to do over the last few years when some things that I thought were one way ended up going another way and didn't work out the way I thought. I have truly come to appreciate and treasure the people that have stayed with me throughout the last few years of my life and turned out to be not just good, but absolutely exceptional, exceptional and honorable people. I'm very thankful for those people and you guys should do the same. I'm sure you have friendships that didn't work out or things that just didn't go a certain way. Maybe after high school, you lost a couple friends that you thought you were going to have. Maybe after college, you thought somebody who was maybe like a roommate or somebody who was really close to you, maybe that relationship kind of fizzled out. That necessarily wasn't something bad, but then you realize the people that you do still have in your life, those good people are truly something special. So Take that for what you will. I'm very grateful for the people I have in my life, and that's ultimately why I wanted to bring this Monday motivation to the channel today. So, guys, thank you so much. If you are somebody who has found us recently, welcome. I hope you enjoy our content. If you are new and you're on the fence, we would love to have you subscribe because we got a lot of big things planned here for 2024, and we would love to have you join our Slapshot Pops family. I will say this. Our Patreon members, our channel members, the people that we have been so blessed to interact with and communicate with on a daily basis, you guys are amazing. We have truly, I think, I think selfishly we have the best community within the Funko community. I'm sure there's a lot of other great people out there that we just haven't met yet, but I think our little pocket here, the Slapshot Pops family, is truly something special. So thank you guys for being you guys. I'm truly excited for the rest of 2024. Like I said, we got big things, so buckle in and enjoy the ride. As always, guys, hit that like button. Don't stop shooting until you score, and we'll see you all very soon.